Well, ladies, I just looked outside and it is snowing. One of my subscribers said that they were heading through Vegas, which is an hour and a half from me. And they had to choose a different route to go back to Texas. So I'm assuming it wasn't I-40 because they have snow plows up there today. It might have been I-10 where you have to come through my town, then go down to Lake Havasu, and then uh, through Parker and be able to hit I-10 uh, over by, I think, by Quartzsite, which some of you may know. Quartzsite, it's a famous place for uh, van lifers and RV people hang out, but I haven't been to Quartzsite in 40 years, so I know when I see pictures online, I don't recognize the place. But because it used to be nothing but a rock and gem show, that was it. Um, nothing else there, but now they have facilities and camping places and free camping and everything you need is is there to get by for a few days. Anyway, I'm just, as you can see, I'm just trying to stay warm today and have dolly time. Take some time to just hold my babies and do a little more bonding. But Debbie over at My Healing Journey 2023, that's that's my girlfriend. We're, we've known each other for a long time. And uh, I'm losing my thought here. She she brought up a subject that I'm going to talk about too. I don't think, think she'll mind. Uh, she brought up the subject of, you know, do should we automatically think that we can't own a reborn and that we have to buy a doll from AliExpress or wherever you choose to buy a copy doll? As you know, I did buy a copy doll. It's it's on its way. And I mostly did it because it's a bigger doll and I didn't know if I could get that kid in my oven and I didn't feel like painting a doll. So um, we'll see how that works out. But somebody got a doll this morning from the same company I ordered mine from and it looked pretty good. But Debbie was making a really good point because she said um, it's not as expensive as some of us may think it is to have a reborn. Now, it's up to you to choose. Do you want to buy an original kit from McPherson's or a knockoff kit? I'm not going to condemn anybody for what they do. It's not my place to do that. Um, we all have to make choices that other people won't agree with. So you can get a kit on McPherson's for, well, let's say, $110 normally. Sometimes they'll have them on sale, and you can get them for less. And Bountiful Baby, $50 for a kit. Um, the China kits are cheaper. Um, I got one doll head from China for the sole purpose of practicing hair painting on it. And then if, if it came out okay, I was just gonna make a cuddle baby and give it away to a little girl. And I finished painting it a long time ago, but I have been messing around practicing hair on it, which today might be a good day for me to clean that head off and practice some more hair painting with Prisma pencils. So, I know that one of our top artists in the reborn world, Sylvia, I don't know how to say her last name, Escarza, something like that. She's in Spain. And years and years ago, I learned that she only paints with three colors. Now, the three colors are blue, red, and yellow, basic colors. I would imagine that maybe she needs to have some flesh color and some white to lighten up the depth of the colors. 
you know, you want it to be a wash. You don't want it to be dark. Um, I've never watched Sylvia paint. I don't think she's ever put videos out with her painting. So I don't know for sure, but it is true that with the three primary colors, you can make every color you need, but I would suggest that you probably need a flesh color and a white and mix, mix very thoroughly. Now there's two options. You can go with Genesis heat set paints or you can go with air dry paints. For people who don't want to invest and get into painting dolls and selling them, air dries may be the way to go. Um, I tried doing air dry with just craft paint from Walmart, but I had no training at all at that point with making a reborn, so it was a pretty bad botched job, and I cleaned it off, sold the kit, and, and quit. Um, you know, and later I got into reborning with Genesis heat set paints, and that's my preferred way. Um, I don't plan to paint and sell. That's not what I'm trying to get into um, but painting for yourself is a great feeling Debbie was right I mean I remember the first reborn doll I ever made when she was put together I was in awe I mean I felt like I gave birth to her which I did I reborn her and I felt like it was like having a new baby it really felt like having a new baby. I mean, let's face it, re the reason we like these reborns, the realistic reborns, is because they look like babies. And the realism. And, you know, someone brought out a, a while back that you could just put a plain kit together and it, it, the realism is there. Um, so, you know, hop on over and um, watch Debbie's video and she might be doing more videos on you know buying a kit she may buy a kit and work with the few colors and paint a simple reborn for you guys so that you can experience the joy of a reborn over just a doll um you don't have to do all the crazy detail work for the baby to look real. Um, when I painted Piper, I did way less detail on Piper. She she doesn't have a lot of veining. Um, yeah, I, I scaled it down quite a bit on her, but I think on her, for her size, it looks realistic. So, yeah, you can, you can do it. You can do it for about $150, you know? You need the paints, you need the kit, and you need a body and stuffing and weighting material. Now, weighting material is a whole nother, another subject, but there are ways to weight your baby if it's just for yourself without buying a whole bunch of glass beads. It's not the way I would do it if I was selling a baby. I wouldn't recommend putting sand in a baby, but... If it's pure, I suppose it will weight your baby, just the same as anything else would. So there's more than one way to do it. Uh, that's what I'm saying. There's more than one way to do it. Perhaps you can buy the kit, put it together and enjoy it for a while, and then buy what you need to reborn it. So that's a very good point that, that Debbie bet, made. And it's probably why I got into reborning, because I, I could see how much it could save save me money although I also did it too to sell so that I could afford to buy the dolls I wanted um, I didn't always bond with my own babies I did with Lucy and sadly I got rid of Lucy she was my first and I wish I had kind of kept her um, and then my Levi and my Piper I've done those two in my nursery and a remake of Twin A. So all of them I feel really bonded to. So it's an option that you guys might want to think about. And I hope the weather's better where you are, but from what I hear from a lot of you, it's cold and rainy and snow on the way. 
So I think we all need to pray for spring. I am so much going to love spring weather. And we have a project we're starting on our, our what they call an Arizona room here. It's a closed-in porch. Doing Redoing that, and I'm excited about that. Uh, may not be able to do as many videos during that process, but we'll see. Okay, you guys, have a great day.